Rugby has come back to the communities in the 2018 Supersport Challenge. We begin with a Gold Cup qualifier and after 40 minutes, Gardens lead progress, 20 points to 12. It is the Uton Hague Derby. You are either a progress supporter or a garden supporter if you live in the town of Uton Hague. Vim, I mean, the crowd has been getting more and more animated and you can tell how much it means to the supporters and you can see how glum progress is and the supporters are that they're trailing. Oh, definitely so. And like I said earlier on, it's all about bragging rights, Anton. You win this derby today, you brag for a year. And I can tell you last year, Gardens beat progress three times out of four, but in the game that counted, the semi-final of the Eastern Province Grand Challenge, they lost to progress and progress went on and won the final so it's a massive massive encounter out here today and i can tell you also progress will have a nice stiff breeze at their backs in the second half they need to use that to their advantage and well we saw everyone in green and either blue and then one sundown supporter in yellow. Uh, I can tell you these men are, have relished their halftime break. The first half was played at a remarkable pace and intensity. And at times it begs belief to believe that this is a club match. But these are two alternating champions of the EP club champs and have had turns winning it over the years and uh, Gardens have won it twice in the last two years but Progress are the reigning champions and they actually came 10th in last year's Gold Club so Gold Cup so Bro Progress are the 10th best club side according to the Gold Cup in the country and that man in shot Christian Berry an attacking player He's going to be getting things underway for our second half in Kwasakele Stadium, or Kwasakele area, it's Wilson Stadium. Oh. Yeah, music playing, it really is a competition unlike anything else. And we've begun. A good chase up from Denver Jones. colleague Vimfisa spoke about the breakdowns and the turnovers conceded it's going to be something both teams need to watch out for goes to progress kick doesn't get too much ground very nice pass to Gustav Meyer and space opened up for Curtis Sears back to Berry Berry's running out two players gets brought down and Oh, we spoke about those turnovers. Now Warren Gwengu, he scored a try in the 41st minute of the first half. And a bit of pressure on the kicker. And next touch, however. Well, it's lovely play once again by Christian Berry. The timing of the pass out wide, step inside there ghosting through the gap Barry gets the ball but that has been their problem in the first half turnovers conceded an open play but an opportunity for progress and progress still in possession of it Herlin Bossman 34 years old he's from Muir College and another set piece for progress. So progress are very famous for a win in 2006 against Marty's. It was the opening of the club champs in Donny Craven and they beat Stellenbosch. Well, that's where the knock on occurred. Well contested, the front pillar defensive line-out jumper in the form of 
Lawengu, he's caused problems all afternoon for this progress side. And a bit of a messy scrum, big push from Gardens. Progress last half were quite strong, but wow, that says it all. It's a magic defensive scrum from the gardens, the men in green. And you could see the celebration, how much that meant to them afterwards. Turnover from the scrum. That's the first of this encounter and an opportunity to relieve some pressure. And Herland Bossman, the lock full progress. He played in that match 12 years ago. The captor, captain was and, and, low. and he's on the coming off the bench today crouch bind set Late. This time, progress. Bigger push. And they're going to have a line out. Five. Five in. Marlon Lewis. Five. We see in shot. Loving him today. Every time he gets the ball, looks dangerous. The line out works out for progress. Berry, cut out pass, finds its man. Oof. Big contact. Goliath. Let's see what happens at the breakdown. Well, Boots got to it. And there was a knock on. It's another handling error from the progress side. A positive for them in the second half in the right areas of the field. And will this continued pressure Cross. reap the benefit? Guys, we spoke about it. I'm not going to wait for a minute for you to go in the crouch, okay? Let's go in the crouch and go. Crouch! Bind. Ah. Set. And a prompt push from progress. Lewis. Dummy kick and then the kick. High one for Roman. Berry. Pass was a bit rushed. Oh, excellent stepping. He's got it. From Darius. Leave it now. Raymond Derry, 67 kilograms. Not the smallest player on the t field, however, today. Now, it's his opposite number. And that defense from Gluengu. Strong and fast. <laughs> Look at the size difference of those two men. Denver Jones, 172, up against the Hulk. Well, it's definitely a David versus Goliath scenario. And that's where Goliath showed his cover defense was up to the task. Oh, good throw in from Denver Bonaparte. Love more. Maybe a chance for progress to run it. Managed to keep that pass. They did. Roman did well under pressure. Bit of a hostile pass. Now it's been stolen. And Gardens. 
Luengu picks and goes. Does quite well, pushing no, back. No, 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 no. Forward, bringing it in. Every time there's a breakdown, you can almost anticipate a possible change in position. Prince, he's wrapped up by Michael DeForce. Okay, you missed it, Four, you missed it. Leave it. Leave. Lewis, Gluengu. <laughs> Gluengu, uh, he gets some attention from Dion Plikis, but has worked out now into the hands of Forbes. No, no. <laughs> some nice Not skills from Bonaparte. Oh, good spirit shown. Helping up the big Nathal Forbes, but this man has had a solid outing. He has his blue angle, almost getting the offload in the tackle, unfortunately drifting forward. It would have been an easy two against one opportunity. Like that. You're outside, eh? Outside, the mark's outside. Crouch! Set. So I can tell you, a couple hundred men and women dressed in blue are going to hope that progress can run this out. And they're off to kick it. And this is always dangerous now. Gardens running onto it. Ketchum. Ketchum chips it over. Bounces. Just goes out. Touch is not found, and this is extremely dangerous. Bounces kind. Catch him. With the chip, almost bouncing kind. But an important defensive line out. Adjust, adjust to them. Happy. Let's go. Progress. Find their mark. Michael DeForce. Oh, Barry. Severe from him. Now into the hands of Mart. Prince. Looping around. To Ron. Okay, it's a tackle. Roll. Up. No, leave it. Gluengu. No, Strong defense on him from small Roman Darius. At the end of the last half, Gordon's got a penalty in front of the poles and run it. I think this time they're going to be a bit less hasty. Guys, we've got a penalty here. No clear release. They're opting for the three points they are. So some communication problems there. Edwin Nell wasn't quite. <laughs> I was a little bit confused. Yeah. He thought he, he thought the the men in green from Gardens were working back because they had scored a try, but they are opting for post and they have moved it back a little bit further to get a better angle. But what they're doing correctly is they're turning over progress at every every breakdown point they can slowing it down opting for the points get that scoreboard ticking over early on in this first half second half sorry Ronaldo Lewis and extends the lead 23 points to 12 and happy faces in the crowd well in the green crowd The green crowd are happy, the blue crowd are feeling a little bit blue. Okay. It's a good performance. I think Gorsi replaces May, and you can see how pumped up he is. But now, Vermont, I, yeah, I have to ask about that. I think Mayer has been outstanding for them, and I'm, I'm quite surprised that he's been taken off. So Anthony Roman restarts. Oh, shrugs it off. That's Hendrix that's come on actually for Berry. 
Taken by Goliath. He gets it out, the new man on the field, Colonel Hendricks. And he is the smallest player on the team. 64 kilograms. I'm going to guess it based on how bravely he took contact there. And he's up to kick it over the top. And this man is playing well today. Doing exactly what the doctor ordered. Quick tap penalty taken by the progress side. And now Goliath. Oh! Mandlin Gozi. Good passage of play for progress. You have to be very careful at the breakdowns. And. Oh, yeah. Every time progress gets a bit of momentum, either stolen or there's a knock or handling error of some sort. Well, that has been their problem. Handling errors eight, turnovers conceded eight. That's 16 balls that you've given to your position in vital areas of, of the field where you could have converted pressure into points. And that tells a story. So have a listen to the crowd. You've got the band, you've got the DJ, you've got the supporters. It is all happening. Is that the same band the Aussies were complaining about in the you test cricket? I believe it was, Vim. Jeez, they're so amazing, Anton. You can't believe it. It just creates the atmosphere, the spirit around the stadium, the Wolfson Stadium. Families are smiling. I can tell you, Gordon supporters are smiling. Their families are smiling. It's all about kids having fun. A rare error from the men in green, the green machine. Just stay down, man. Just stay down. Oh, as it stands, I suspect there will be a few cream sodas mixed with a bit of something else drunk later this Sunday. Bye. Madeline Gozi into Muir College and the fullback Roman over the top works beautifully. Darius, Darius puts his heads down. He's smashed up by Kenny Bowman. Ball finds the wing, and once again, it's outstanding cover defence out wide. It's the second try that he has saved the cover defence of Kenny Bayman. Up to the task, sacrifices and puts his body on the line. He played EP King Sevens years ago and see that pace and Marlon Lewis certainly no rush and the contest that came forward for Bayman so Vim I want to ask you a question a lot of these players are a bit older what happens to men athletes as they get older you you don't seem to lose strength is it is it speed that's lost and or what happens to the body well the body gets a little bit slower definitely you do lose a bit of a pace but with experience you learn shortcuts and that makes you even more effective so colin webb takes to the field He's 37 years old they call him wire and he used to be a Really quite naughty and it was rugby Out. sort of helped him out a lot there. But little Forbes. Happy smile from him. Smart. 
Coach. Bind. Sit. Oh. Goes backwards, however. Clyde Tehran, he's just so strong. Play it. He's got to play it. So great for a team to have an older, mature, strong player. And look at that. Breakdown again. Gardens. Marlon Lewis finds no one at home, and that's such a good kick. Marlon Lewis, he's had a solid outing. Lovely touch finder. Gained some quality real estate down here in Kwasakele. One blue sub. Number one blue. But I've said it for almost 59 minutes. The biggest problem for the progress side is turnovers conceded at the breakdown point. That is number nine. And it's just setting them back a bit in this fixture. Are you happy? But then on the same token, you only play as well as your opposition allow you to play. And what Gardens have done well, they flood the ruck area, they put pressure on, and they're very good at turning over and recycling that ball. The line out works for progress. Roman. Oh, so this is when there's danger. And although that being said if this works out for progress they'll have made themselves a good 30 meters and they have good take it was Hans. and look at the size of Samuel Jacobs just past the ball such a big man now can they protect themselves and it's kicked away by Hans, Archie Hans, and the counter attack good Glengu Lewis over the top again and a little bit of work to do for the man back and Hendricks he did well there and it's a lovely touch finder from Colonel Hendricks Luengu, he's also been outstanding for his side. He's a product of Kirkwood High. He's 34 years old, Anton. He's got four children, and I'm sure there'll be four very proud kids of his dad, of their dad out there. Final part to Luengu. Lewis. And well, the running up was good. Just overran it. Jones. Fields the ball. So that man on taking the ball in Chingazani, 138 kilograms, came on for Lee Ray Simpson. 138, that's so big. Imagine the defenders, but now Lewis, boot to it, it's being chased up, and Hans, good defense in him. And Webb, I mean, Zana did very well chasing up. Left footed kick is very, very good. Number seven, Lou. Outstanding play at the breakdown once again. They flood the ruck area, they put their bodies on the line, and once again it's a turnover conceded by the progress side. And that man there, Marlon Lewis, what he's done well is is the quality of his box kicks okay. and territory kicks, gubber kicks. All it does is it turns the defensive side around, it keeps his guard inside on front foot ball in the right areas, and it's so frustrating for the opposition. Well, Margot Felix is exiting the field and the gardens go, guys. supporters are standing up and applauding him well, he's the man that opened the 
the scoreboard for the garden side and he gets a hero's ovation standing ovation from the garden supporters outstanding stuff Bonaparte right to the back of the line good throw he's been throwing well today Luingu Oh, it was Lewis. Okay, leave it now. Broke the tackle. Now Marlon Lewis finds his fullback. Ronaldo Lewis. Oh, the new man on the field just passes it away. And it's Hulan Bossman. Cleared by Curtis Sears. Zeus is big, he's 98 kilograms and 90, which for a center is pretty large and in charge. You may recall in the first half the big hit he put on Zana. Nine green. And these guys are tireless, so they can play for a whole test series, a test match. It's easy for them to play for our festival on one Sunday. Well, it looks like Marlon Lewis is being replaced by young scrum half Marvin Comfer. And I can tell you, you can hear this crowd from the Garden supporters. They're standing in front of our commentary booth. And it is a standing ovation. This man has had an outstanding encounter this afternoon. He's been good with the boots. And Vim, I mean, what do you think about the decision to take him off? I think he's been excellent. So thinking maybe he gets a bit tired. Or do you think his replacement Camphor is just, you know, has a lot to offer? Well, normally, it's about adding impact to the field, and I can tell you, he has been outstanding. Has Marlon Lewis? He's done the damage. He's kept his side. In the right areas of the field he's controlled the tempo his service delivery from the breakdowns has been excellent so it's probably just to give the young man a good run and to add impact and speed for the last almost 16 minutes so kenny bayman is also receiving attention we see in dc going group Looks like he's having more of a rest. And I mean, you know, like we've been saying, these are working class men. They're not professional athletes. They must, they must start to get a little bit tired. Oh, definitely so. They're working class heroes. These are guys that work all day in a factory. Join their club to do a session in the afternoon, some big contact situations defensively. Lovely carry from the man that has been re replaced, Nath Nathal Forbes. Looks like there is a bit of a blood issue for one of the Gardens players. But definitely so. Now maybe fitness levels aren't as high as professional rugby players, but at the end of the day, these are guys that go out and make the sacrifice for their team. They leave families at home in the evening to go and train on rugby fields. It's cold, it's wet, it's windy. It's about making sacrifice and you form a brotherhood in your club. You form a family within your club and that's what's lovely about club rugby in our country. And those big hits we saw earlier, evidence of the free intensity this match has been played at, and perhaps evidence as to why there were men lying on the earth. And now, looking dangerous, it's in the wings hand. Oh, he kicks it to his opposite number 11. Perhaps he thought there was nothing else to do. But the story of today continues of progress as attacking efforts being thwarted and disrupted with changes in possession. And Gardens under pressure kick it out, but a decent, decent attacking opportunity now for progress. And 
what will happen in this stadium if progress scores now. Well, for progress, the go to man at line out time has been on. The man at the back there, number seven, Michael De Force. It's a lovely two handed take once again. Looks like it was collapsed from the air, but it's play on. And Lingozi sends it out. CS. Nice inside line it was taken there. But oh, you almost just want to cry a bit. The breakdown. It's been turned over. Progress on battling to get it back. But a scrum for Gardens. And just this keeps on happening for the Blues. Oh, you mentioned it, Anton. It has been a problem for the men in blue. They've been turned over on 11 occasions at the breakdown point. But you've got to take your hats off to the men in green from Gardens. They're flooding the ruck area. They know there's been a problem for the progress side in that department of the, of the game. They get hands on the ball. They show daylight. They stay on their feet and they manage to steal the ball on 11 occasions and that is a game changer Herlin Bossman Twelve. exits the field is children Hayden and Zachary uh, eight and two years respectively they're no doubt in the stands watching their dad play so very proud on the other hand at those contact situations progress should be concentrating on the quality of presentation at the breakdown points the quality of their cleaners i see a lot of players migrating out wide to play with the ball instead of who cleans the closest guard to that contact point Yeah, of him, I think it's a it's a problem of, as you say, under committing to the rucks. But also when they're there, there'll sometimes be a number of players, but they're just not managing to effectively ruck over and hold on to position. I don't know if there's a something just getting wrong with the technique or you know. So a big push by progress. Maybe struggling at the breakdown, but. Scrums have been pretty dominant. Well, good take under pressure. Absolutely scragged was Hendricks, and then on the floor just lost it. A oh, fantastic kick chase from Warren Luengu and Kenny Bayman immediately putting in a fantastic first time tackle effort, getting the ball to the ground and winning the turnover once again. That is what you call quality. Eyes on the ball all the time. Bang! Fantastic tackle. Crouch! Line! Saint! So the scrum wheels. And oh, excellent line for Tehran. Chip over the top from Camphor. And the bounce works up to Duengo's hands. Rock! Camphor. Ooh, nice pass. Space. Could be an overlap. Prince decided to take it inside. And well, still 10 minutes. I was going to say progress have to run it out. They don't. A lot can happen in 10 minutes. Decide to send it to their big men. And that's big Ben Samuel Jacobs. This kick. Oh, well. Straight to Dwengu. He's a dangerous man. Pops out the back. And, oh, well done. 
from Camper. Excellently, in fact. Uh, he's going on a little bit of a run. It's a go. I would describe as a flat pass. Colin Webb. Get away. Got that body. So look, that really is a wall of ocean blue. And he called back for the advantage. The penalty is against the big man up front. No daylight demonstrated at the breakdown point. Therefore, slowing down the recycle ball of the guard inside. That's penalty number five. The progress have conceded. Gardens five in this fixture. Number four and number twelve. South guys. Staying on his feet. Does Winston Zana. And then bodies all over the place not rolling away it's a bit of a chaos situation at that breakdown situation but once again the men in green in the right areas of the field with almost eight minutes remaining in this fixture looks like they do have total control Anton indeed they do Dean Caesar takes to the field Duengu Duengu not many players were required to take him down there. Pick and go. Leave it now. Leave it off your feet. You're off. And Warren Luengu goes on a run. Well, right now too. The two Luengus have been excellent for guidance to that. Damon inside line to Tehran. And, you know, if you look at Gardens play, they're just consistent. They keep on recycling. Now a little run. Camper lets it out. And oh, it's just knocked on. As I was saying that they... Oh, I still say Gardens are just better at retaining possession. Certainly far less problems at the breakdown. Picture Haywin Janssen, Colin Webb from the garden side. It's been another replacement for Gardens in the center position. And well, these men are tired, understandably. And we've been seeing big hits throughout the morning. Well, the crowd is still full of energy, I can tell you that. It's been fast and furious, Anton. I've been played at a half pace this game. Minimum handling errors. Must say, I have been impressed with the skill set of both sides what has let progress down and that's what while the scoreboard tells the story of 23 points gardens 12 progress is the turnovers conceded at the breakdown point and now progress well now it's getting to the point that they probably want to almost run this out goliath and the decision is to be taking it quickly. So, what can progress do? They kick it out, and the problem with that is that the gardens back three can be very dangerous. But, well, lots of energy is about Stay four wrong. players run up for a gang tackle there. Yeah. For, and. The kick coming from Caesar and progress now, or the opportunity. 
What can they do? Oh, space opening up. Yeah, tight ground. And, well, you know, I questioned the decision to bring on Kampfer, but he's actually been playing very well. Stian Kamp is wrapped up there. Caesar lets it out. Bayman. Well, Gardens dominating territory. 52% to 48. Sure, at the back of their mind, there must be a thought of if they do get an extra try in the second half it will mean it's a bonus point try which could count indeed it's a long road to the gold cup and that's what they'll be wanting and they'll be wanting to win the champs so certainly a bonus point back of their mind and they have the opportunity for that so it is a really wonderful Sunday of rugby and up next Wurland Cavaliers versus the Border Bulldogs 1 p.m. kickoff and it just continues we've got entertainment we've got it all and later on the EP Elephants take on Western Province EP Elephants this is their home turf so it just continues and the crowd is already pumped up and we're going to be going throughout the day. You see on the right, just by the beautiful graphic we have. Look at that. Look at that. Well, that's what it's all about, Anton. And that band gets going. The Gardens crowd in green get going. Look at that, how much it means to them. That picture tells a story of a thousand words. It's all smiles. There, on the other hand, the support in blue for progress. They're getting involved. Don't you love it? Indeed, and what I love is look at the different ages. Such a look at that. That is stunning. You know, and a very cosmopolitan mix of ages. We've got kids and <laughs> far less activity in the blue than in the green. Now this is what it is about. This is what the Super Sport Challenge set out out to do. Coach. All you can say is mission accomplished because it's absolutely amazing. It's about the family, it's about kids, it's about smiles. Quick play from the men in Green Gardens. This is a lovely break by the captain, Hans. Well, Hans is eventually taken down and his fellow flank, Andile Mart. Penalty for Gardens. Oh, but we mentioned that bonus point. I'll tell you, Hans. <laughs> He's had to take a knee. Seems to be doing a yoga. I think it's Cat Carl. And, well, players all over the show on all fours. <laughs> Shaking his head. You've only got two minutes left. That's well, a lovely break by Hans. Took a gallant effort defensively to bring him down. I can tell you what I'd be doing. I'd be knocking this ball into the corner of our gardens and trying to set up a driving mall. They have been good. This could be the last opportunity of this fixture to come away with a bonus point, Anton. You know, you're right, Vim, and Bonaparte's throwing has been good. He's been confident. He's been sending it to the back, mixing it up. Okay, let's not put that commentator curse on this. The men in green... Very compassionate of you, Vim, and true. So let's hope I haven't, <laughs> I haven't cursed him. <laughs> and did I curse him? Yes, I did. My apologies to Bonaparte. The charge down. You know, warming up, Willard, <laughs> coaching staff there. To jig out the way of the ball. 
Well, Gardens went for the front banker ball, ball in the form of Glowengo. But it was well contested in the defensive effort at the line out bar progress. The ball was then charged down, right. carried over the 22, the dead ball line. So it will be a 22 meter dropout, a restart. So the restart, oh, it's deep. And we have 30 seconds left. What can these two teams do? What a derby it has been. And we're going to have time for one more line out. And Aldo Lewis said his chin stitched up, stitched up. And he is very pumped. And it is beautiful. Community rugby. Both teams come from one town, one area. Utenay is either blue or green, and it's going to be a lot greener today. Now moving through the hands. And Gustav may have ducked into it a bit there. Roll for. Darlington Hans, one of the tacklers. No! Now, oh, well, one of the better passages that Progress has had. Let's watch at the breakdown. Oh, and it's been stolen. Camphor, we're on 80 minutes and 30 seconds. So, well, Progress have another chance. They can't win it, but they can get within one point. I mean, within seven points, excuse me. Oh! And taken quickly. There are some tired men out there. And Goliath. Oh! Brave tackle on him. Rosa. Does progress have it in them? <laughs> Human battering ram from Chinkazani. And well, another penalty. I'd say what well, really one of the better passages for these men. It's been taken quickly. Now pushing towards the 22. Davids. There we go. Off now. Leave it now. Strong defense. Anthony. Oh, progress. Are really ending well now charging closer Bosman seven meters out can the team in blue come closer towards a garden score why now Bosman five out oh, now four meters out no where was this ball retention throughout the match? One must wonder. Goliath. Oh, his jersey's torn. And they've got advantage. Sent right. Nice hands over the top. Can he do it? Raymond Darius. And some cause for smiles. And that blue crowd there. Well, it's progress that will get the last laugh in this Eastern Province Grand Challenge. Fixture, it's a Gold Cup qualifier. 
And Raymond Derry's just too much firepower. The build-up was done already. All he had to do was finish, and that he did perfectly. How's that? 83 minutes into play. And this is going to be a tricky kick. You can see the strapping on his leg. And pulled down. These men have been warriors today. And it will be the final strike of the match. Certainly not of the day. The action is going to continue well into your Sunday. Anthony Roman. Bring progress within four. End the match. He strikes and misses his mark. It's inconsequential ultimately. And what a match it has been. After 84 minutes of high intensity rugby, these men and women in the crowds have been entertained. And, oh, it's been a wonderful day. Oh, they've been entertained to the maximum and in true rugby fashion. Rugby is the winner in the Super Sport Rugby Challenge. Communities are joined. It's all about the fans. Three tries apiece. Gardens down progress. 23 points to 17.